Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about volumes of prisms. We have different kinds of uh, prisms, but they all have one formula for volume in common. And that formula is going to be the same thing for all of them. The only difference is what shape the base is. So for example, all of the prisms when you're looking for volume is going to be big B, which is the area of the base, times H, which is the height of the prism. And so if we look at each one individually for a pentagon, the B is going to be area of the pentagon, which is turns out to be it's just one half of bottom tens perimeter times H, and we'll color code it. So H for height of the prism. And remember, height of the prism is the distance from one base to the other. And we go about doing the same thing for all of them. So for a triangular prism, the big B or the area of the base is going to be area of a triangle, which is one half little b for base times height times height of the prism, which once again is a distance from one base to the other. And we can kind of go all the way around doing the same thing for all of them. So a rectangular prism, it's still big B times H, where big B is just length and width, and H represents height of the prism. Same thing for a hexagon, it's going to be the same as the pentagon, because it's a regular pen <coughs> uh, polygon, where the area of the base is one half the apothem times the perimeter times height of the prism, which is the distance from one base to the other. So here's the main one you got to remember. The only difference is this B is area of the base, where this H is the air is the height of the prism. So let's go ahead and try some problems. So let's look at this first one. So this first problem here, it says find the value of the rectangular prism below. So the remember the name of the prism tells you the shape of the base. And so that's telling me that the base is a rectangle, which is down here. And so I'll call that my big B. And just how we did before, this right here represents little h, or the height of the prism. And so we start with volume is equal to big B times h, or uh, base times height. And the this base is the area of the base. So let's start with that. We know the height of the prism. We know little h is 24. So we got that. What we need to find is what is big B. And so big B is just going to be the area of the base, which is 17 and 9. And so we multiply those two together, 17 times 9. We get base area of 17 times 9 gives us a base area 153 and so to find the volume all we do is multiply 153 times 24 to give us a volume of 3672 centimeters cubed so that was for a rectangular prism let's move on to something else so here we have a trapezoidal prism, and I know it's a trapezoidal prism, or it's a trapezoid because they're telling me it's a trapezoid. Now, one thing in particular, so remember, uh, when we're looking for the height of the base or the height of a trapezoid, is going to be the perpendicular distance from one base to the other. And if you notice, these little uh, 90 degree angles is telling me that this right here is actually the height of the base, not the height of the prism, the height of the base. The height of the prism, remember, is from one base to the other base. Now, I know we, we said a lot of bases, but it, we'll break it down. So here's big B for, for the base area or the base shape. And so we start volume is equal to big B times little h, where this h represents the height of the prism. And so now we got to worry about finding B. And so <clears throat> the shape of this particular uh, 
base is a trapezoid and it looks something like this and the measurements they're giving me are 8 19 24 and 11 and so really the only things that are important to me is this 24 the 19 and the 8 and so if you don't remember to find area of a trapezoid the area of a trapezoid is base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times height put that in parentheses and so here I have everything I need I have my base 1 which we'll call 19 I have base 2 we'll call it 24 and then the height of the prism sorry the height of the base is 8 and so when we multiply all of that together well, when we add those together 19 we'll do some simplifying 19 and 24 give me 43 half of 43 is 21.5 and 21.5 times 8 gives me 172 and so now I have everything that I need to find the volume so volume is area of the base which which is found to be 172 and I'm going to multiply that times the height of the prism, which was 21, and that gives me a volume of 3,612 meters, not squared, meters cubed. So moving on to one more problem, actually two more problems, but we're going to take a look at this one first. So this one says a right prism, it just means we got corners. Um, a right prism with a square base has a height, so the, the height of the prism is 7, and they're giving us volume to be 567 centimeters cubed, and they want us to find the edge of the base. So edge of the base is just like the one side of the base. So let's start by drawing this. So a square base means I have a square base okay, with all these sides the same, and the height of my prism whoops the height of my prism is seven so roughly that's my that's what I'm looking at so there, this and so we're gonna start with volume is equal to big B times H so let's talk about some of the stuff what we know we know height we know volume we're looking for the base let's talk about the base we said the base is a square so if the base is a square that means we would find length times width, but since it's a square, they're all the same. And so instead of calling it length and width, let's just call it S for side. So side, 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 side. So if I wanted to find the area of the base, instead of saying length times width, I can say side times side or just side squared. So that so now we know base in terms of, of the length of the side. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and replace everything that I know. I know the volume was 567. I just found the base to be in terms of the side, which is just side squared. And the height of the prism is 7. And so what I have to do here is I have to find S, or I have to find the side or the edge. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 7. And so when I divide both sides by 7, on the left side, well actually on the right side, the 7 goes away and I'm left with S squared. On the left side, I have 567 divided by 7, which is 81. And so finally, the last step to get S by itself, i got to find the square root of that, which gives me a side length of 9. And so here we can say the length is equal to 9 centimeters. Right, so moving on to the last problem. Here it says find the volume of a triangular prism. So here we have a prism. The only difference is now that the base is a triangle, which is down here. And so remember, when we calculate the height of the base or the height of the triangle, it has to be perpendicular to its base. So <clears throat> that would be the height of the, the base. The height of the prism is still the distance from one base to the other base. So here, 
I have a triangular base. Here's the other triangular base. So the distance between that represents the height of the prism. And so once again, we start with volume is equal to big B times little h, where little h, or height of the prism, is 13. So the thing we have to worry about is finding the area of my base. The area of my base has the following dimensions. It has a base of 9, and it has a height of 7.6. And that's really all I need to find the area of the base. And so because the area is a triangle, we find the base, sorry, the area of the base is by 1 half little b times little h, which is little b and little h. And so we're going to substitute that into my equation. So to find the area of the base, it's 1 half base, which is 9, times height, which is 7.6. If we put that in the calculator, we get an answer of 34.2 two for area of the base. And so to find the volume, I simply plug in or substitute in what I just found. Area of the base was 34.2 and the height of the prism was 13, which gives me a base, uh, sorry, a volume of 444.6 feet cubed.